I'm meeting my best friend for lunch, and we both decided that we were going to run into Goodwill real quick. They just got here. We're going through these because we found some good things over here, but today is not the day. <laughs> so here we go. We got this little fanny pack tapestry bag that I'm thinking about because they want $2.99 for it. So oh, that's kind of cute though. I'll throw it in to think about. Okay, so I thought while I was in here waiting on I would talk about, I would go through these vintage t-shirts. Right? Well, they're not all vintage t-shirts. But just to kind of show you what I look for, if there is any. See, this is single stitched. I could tell by the tag. You see that old Haynes tag? But it isn't anything special. But a lot of times, look at these tags. Especially if they say that they're made in the USA. And then check the stitching. You see that one's a single stitch. So far, see this is vintage. It's a jerseys. It is also single stitched. It's white, which makes me nervous, but um, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. White always makes me nervous, but it's the... I'm going to get it. Floating Fantasies. It's dated 1988. P. Johnson in my third in the cart. I'm gonna get it. It's in good shape. Scary though. <laughs> What's this? You can get a a cup of trend. What is that? Trimp? Trimp? Trimp. Trimp. It's, it's for trimp. <laughs> trimp. Lots of um, Avon bottles, which are not. If this had the lid on it, I would buy it. Is bigger <laughs> than the dollar. <laughs> Flight champion. This is neat, but I'm not buying glassware. This is probably Ironstone. It is. It's Ironstone China. It's $4.99. Ironstone is decent, but I'm just not. I'm just. I'm just not. And they have the music. So loud. This is 1975. This is kind of neat. It's got some issues there. Yeah, so, I'm not getting that. Oh, yeah. Dolls are something. These kind of caught my eye. I know. But they <laughs> they are a Byron mold. They're $3.99 a piece. They're Atlantic molds. I might get them, but they're just kind of scary to ship. And I almost got these guys, but I think I'm not. They're just little fish trinket. But I'm not getting them. These are kind of neat. They're pretty modern. Oh gosh, the music is so loud. Scotch broth. Milk glass, glasses, no. I like these stoneware mugs, but that one is, has nothing on it. New Orleans. Scott Woods. Hmm. I don't, they've changed up the way that they're displaying their mugs, and I am not a fan. Well, there's the Blue Blue Ducks again. They were here last time. There's a Smurf guy. I'm going to get him. It's a lazy Smurf for it's so loud over there. Let's see what is going on over here. No cutting boards. Cashier to the front. Okay, I'm look at the toy section. This is one of my favorite. Oh my gosh, what does this look like? 
Gizmo. Oh, I think I don't know if his ears broke up in the cart. I'll test him here in a minute. He still has his tag. We'll see. Let's kind of do a quick one over for anything vintage and then go back and look again. Um, those I can't sell those. This is cute. Look at the plush. There's a Florida Gators. And the number five. You know, I used to really look at the plush really good, but now I just kind of look for anything Disney and anything vintage. Let's see, it's too modern. Mm. Hello. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna get this guy. I'll look these guys up because sometimes the stuff is new. The stuff that's new in the package can be good. So just casually looking at shoes, and I come across these. They're four fifty. I know. I know they're not as good as the boots, but seriously, I mean, it's not every day that you see a um, wrestling mask. And they only want twenty one ninety nine for it. Yeah, you can get a poop emoji bang for nine ninety nine. My goodness, and whatever that thing is. Terrifying. Okay. Hi guys, it's Misty the Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter and I have a really quick haul for you. My friend Cindy and I went into a Goodwill right before we met for lunch because I mean it was right next door and I mean we both love to go to Goodwill and why not? So we ran in there really quick and I was able to find some decent things so I'm going to go ahead and show you them. But before I do, uh, my name is Misty and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. And I like to post videos on my hauls, on um, auction trips, estate sales, yard sales. Uh, I own an antique store, so sometimes I'll film while I'm in there different uh, staging aspects and stuff for people who have antique boots or other people who have antique stores. So if this is the kind of content that you think that you might be interested in, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Typically, lately, well, a lot lately, I've been posting at least three videos a week. So I'm going to hopefully continue that trend and I hope that you like this channel and you subscribe. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on with the haul. The first couple things that I got were in the section of Goodwill, which I love, and that is the hard goods section. A lot of times it's brand new in package items. I find all kinds of different interesting things, things that are old stock that's still in packaging that can go for crazy amounts of prices. I kind of like to go through the shelves and dig and see what all I can find. That's probably a little bit of the junker in me because I like to find discarded things and make them into something else. So I found these two water bottles and I started feeling them and they feel really good. They feel like a, not like a water bottle that you would get from Walmart. So that was my first instinct. So I just, I did, I did the field test. So I felt it and it felt quality. And then I will look and see what the labeling is on it. And it is a hydro flask. You can see right there, hydro flask. And there's the little emblem guy. And um, I paid $2.99 for this in Goodwill. But I looked up hydro flask on eBay solds because you always want to look at the sold listings. This water bottle sells for about $30 to $40 brand new. I, this one's in great condition. It's not brand new. It does still have the straw. So I'm going to list this probably about $18 on eBay and see if I can, what I can, if I can sell it for that. And I paid $2.99 for it. So the profit margin is great. I got this green one and I also got, this was, this was sitting right next to it. It is a different brand. It is the Takeya. 
think that's, that's probably not how you say it, but that's how I'm saying it. It is also a really durable, heavy duty water bottle. I also paid $2.99 for it as well. But the this one also, this style, uh, sold for about $30 new. So again, I could probably get eight, 15 to $18 for this water bottle on eBay. And honestly, if I don't sell it, then we probably will just keep them because they are very nice water bottles. So those are the kinds of things that I just, I just like to find those kinds of non-clothing hard good items. This next little thing was at, in the toys and I paid 99 cents for it. And it is this cute little Garfield puzzle. And you can see it says, it's dated 1978. There you go, 1978. It is the United Feature Syndicate, which is which was the uh, the licensing franchise for Garfield during the 70s. I don't think that it still is today, but maybe it is. Um, but on this little cartoon, it says, when a cat presents you with a dead smelly thing, it's an expression of love, you twit. I could not buy it for 99 cents, just for the sheer vintage aspect of it. Also in the toy section, ugh, and I wish I should have put batteries in this to test it before I filmed this video. And maybe I will put something, if it does work, I'll put a little clip of it at the end of this video. I'm gonna take the tape off of his face because they taped his face really good. But it is this cute gizmo. It is a, um, what are those things called? It's made by Tiger, uh, not Furby, Furbies? Furbies maybe, okay, we'll go with Furby. Uh, but he's so cute and he still has his hang tag on him. He's Jimco, which Jimco is a good brand for mechanical action plushies, I guess you could say. Uh, $19.99, so he is vintage and his battery compartment looks great. There's no, no um, battery spillage. What's the word I'm looking for? Corrosion. There's no corrosion in the battery compartment. I cannot wait to get him batteries in him and I hope that he works because he is adorable. I did look these up. They go for about $40 in working condition. And since he has this tags, he could go for more than that. And I paid $1.99 for him at Goodwill. So I also found a Smurfs glass. I sell these in the antique shop and they do pretty well. And I'm looking here, you know, pardon my hair, guys. It's just, it is what it is. I know that you don't care. Um, this is dated 1982. It is a Payo, which I never know if I'm saying that name correctly. Focus. It is 1983. I sell these in the shop for about three to four dollars a piece. So I picked it up and it was 69 cents. It's in great condition and it is lazy smurf. The next thing I got, this was also in the toy section and it is this Nerf Vortex Refill. Brand new in the package. It was 99 cents. These sell on eBay for about 15 to well, about $15 to $18 on eBay. So I picked it up since it was 99 cents. It's an easy thing to list. It's an easy thing to ship out. So it was a no-brainer to pick that up. I haven't looked up comps for this exact thing, but I have sold them before for pretty decent money. This is, as I untangle it, it is a Walkman Sport. It is an AM FM radio and it's just taped. Those guys, they're tape. It's tape to keep the, the cord from falling off of it. And I understand that, but good grief. It has the cord or the ear phone headphones with it. Um, it is a little tiny bit smudged, and I but I don't think it's a scratch. I might be able to smudge that out a little bit. You can kind of see the reflection right there. It is. It doesn't appear to be a scratch, but um, I'm going to test this. The battery compartment looks really good. The batteries are still in here, but they obviously are not working. Um, and uh, these can sell for really about $30. So I paid $3.99 for it. It does have the strap here, so you can 
you know, put it on your arm when you're running. These sell for good money, these Walkman brands, and it's in really good condition. The next item that I got, I got two of them, and they were in that favorite section of mine where you can dig and dig and dig in this, these new and packaged things that I like to look up. This is a Thermacell Mosquito Repellent Refill Cartridge. They're brand new sealed. There were two of them, and I paid $1.99 each for them. The only ones that I could find online were a four pack and they were selling for about $25. So I went ahead and picked up these two because I think I could put them in a two pack and you know sell them for $15 or so. So it was still a good profit margin for me. Again, easy to photograph, it is easy to list, easy to ship out, easy for Misty. And I like that. Also, I don't know why I bought this because I bought two other latch hook kits at a yard sale and I've still not sold them. The fact that it was brand new and sealed was kind of a no-brainer to me. This is what I, I love to find this stuff. So I probably maybe will get 15 to $18 out of it. And that's all the hard goods that I got at the Goodwill. Guys, I'm trying not to buy any more clothing, but I can't help it when I see it for a good price, I'm still gonna go ahead and pick it up. I have a backlog of clothing that I need to get photographed but sometimes when you see an item and it's too good to pass up, then you go ahead and buy it anyway. And I haven't showed this item to my daughter yet because this is something that I know that she will like, but it is this cute little fanny pack. It has this really pretty tribal print on it and Goodwill, thank you Goodwill for writing in Sharpie on the fabric because that is so helpful. Anyway, the name on the inside is Kathy's Collectibles. So that is the name of the tapestry on the inside. So I figured I could probably get about $18 for this or so on either, probably, I would see this selling more on Poshmark than I would on eBay, but you never know. eBay surprises me more times than not. I got a graphic t-shirt. I always look at them and I'm very selective on the ones that I am choosing. This one is a Jersey's brand. It is made in the USA. It's a size extra large. It is, I'm always, there you are. It is single stitched and you can see maybe the single stitching on the sleeve right there. This is a white t-shirt, which I'm always reluctant to buy, but I went ahead and tried it because the graphic t-shirts at my Goodwill are $1.99 and it has this really cool, um, what are those, hot air balloons. It's dated 19, 1988. Let me get this to where you can actually see it. 1988 by Gallery 444, which I have heard of before. I haven't looked this up, but it's in, there's no spots or stains on it. It's in wonderful condition. It's called Floating Fantasies. And the artist is P. Johnson. So I'm going to do a little bit of research and look this up. And you never know. Sometimes these will do quite well. And honestly, if it doesn't sell, I might, I'm going to keep it because I think it's cute. The next thing I got was this suede. It is a genuine leather, suede leather vest. It is vintage. It's tribes from the land of the brave. It's just a men's suede vest. It has just the polyester back on it. I do well with vintage leather vests, especially around like festival season. And I'll put festival boho western um, in the listing. I paid $3.99 for this vest. I picked up this avalanche vest, which I'm not actively looking for winter items, but with jackets and and coats I will try to pick up, especially with their new with tags. I think someone probably got this as a gift because it's, the price is ripped off. And I wanna say that they maybe sell these at Kohl's. Here's the, I don't know, Avalanche. These, I paid $5.99 for it. Uh, but I thought that this would be a good thing to list uh, for a fall. It's brand new with tags and it's size large. So it's really cute. It's a women's vest, puffy vest. And I, I did look this up before I bought it. 
And these were selling for about $25 or so. The next item I got, I paid $5.99 for this as well. I do very well with vintage unique jackets. Um, and I picked this one up. It is a leather jacket. It's like a, what are these, bomber jackets? Like a letterman's jacket. Yamaha sportswear. And it, I wanted to see if it had, it has, yeah, on the chest it has a little Yamaha embroidered spot there. And on the back of it, it has a big Yamaha embroidered patch on it. It was made in Korea. It's a size large. The leather is in great condition. I didn't notice any flaws on this at all. It is a button jacket. And again, I mean, I've sold jackets like this for about $60, $70. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. All right, this next item I paid 99 cents for. It is a Dodge Viper seat belt. Seat belt belt. Like a belt that you wear around your waist. It's made from a seat belt, a car seat belt. And it's made by Buckle Down Sports, no. Buckle Down Skate Goods. The next thing I got, I got last two things I got from Goodwill were these shoes. This is a Nun Bush brand men's loafer. They're in great condition. These sell for about, new they sell for about $60, $70. Uh, in this condition, which is really good condition, I will get that marker off with rubbing alcohol. I can probably get about $25 or so for these shoes, and they were $4.50. And I'm saving the best for last. So I was just casually walking, and I think that I got footage of this, but I got a pair of, you know that label? Where are you at? I keep looking in the wrong spot. Fry. Now, I know that these are not as good as the boots. Candice are, is the style name. They're very, very well made. Fry obviously are very, very well made shoes. These don't even look like they've ever been worn, uh, really at all. There is absolutely no wear on these shoes whatsoever. So I could probably sell these for about $40 on eBay or Poshmark or Mercari. So that was all that I got at Goodwill. And then I went into my not so favorite thrift store because it was on my way home and I thought, why not? However, when I got in there, it was 50 cent day. So you could only imagine the chaos that was surrounding me when I went in. I did manage to get a few things and I'll go ahead and show those to you now. So everything that I got was 50 cents. Um, I got these Pokemon Christmas tree ornaments and I got these for my son for the Christmas tree that we put in his room. The next thing that I got is this, what's it called? It's speed stacks. And they're basically, you stack these cups and do different variations with them. It has a mat here and the timer in there. I've sold this before, which is the reason why I bought it um, for about $20. So I got this in there. And then a bread and butter piece, piece for me, which picking it up for 50 cents, I cannot resist is this Lucky Brand tunic. Well, it's not really a tunic. It's just a blouse, a Lucky Brand cotton blouse. It is a size small, uh, but it's very cute. And I do well with this brand, so I picked it up for 50 cents. And the last thing, my daughter has already claimed this one. It is a vintage, where's the, Adidas Women's Windbreaker. And it's got the gray, with the light green. Unfortunately, no spell out on the back, but it's in great condition and she loved it and it has the little zipper toggle there. So she has already claimed that jacket. So that will be no money for mom. And But I paid 50 cents for it, so that's okay because in six months time, she'll be sick of it and then I can resell it then. So that is what I got. Um, it was a small haul, but a mighty haul. I mean, I like small but mighty because it doesn't overwhelm me. Because right now, I'm very overwhelmed with the amount of things that I have. It's getting ridiculous, but it's garage sale season, which has nothing to do with this video because everything I got here, I got at a thrift store. But again, I think I've said this in several of my videos, I'm trying to wind down my sourcing a little bit and be very, very picky, which will affect these videos somewhat because my hauls aren't going to be as big, 
but I'm going to do some different things. I'm going to focus a little bit more on researching vintage items to help you guys out with when you're out and about how to look up and what kind of vintage items to look for when you're sourcing and go kind of go through some of my back stock that I need to go through. I have a, like three bins full of items that I got from my last trip to the Goodwill outlet, which was about a month ago. And I don't even remember what's in there. So I'm going to like do those kind of haul videos, death pile haul videos. Maybe that's what I should call them a death pile haul. Anyway, that is this video for today. And I hope that you liked it and I hope that you will subscribe and tell me in the comments what your favorite item that I got was. I kind of want to say, well, obviously the fry shoes were my favorite thing to find, but probably my favorite item that I bought is this little gizmo. And hopefully I'll be, hopefully he works and I'll be able to put some footage in of his little cuteness at the end of this video for you to see. Anyway, that's my video and I hope that you guys have a very, very good day and keep vintage hunting because it's fun, right? We do what we like because it's fun. Anyway, be a blessing to each other and I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.